large areas of land are being given over for the management of a single species for the very privileged few to benefit. And the benefit they want simply is recreational killing. The majority of the people that live here and their families have been here for generations. It wasn't just a job to them, it's a way of life for these people. The big challenge really is to manage our wildlife resources in a sustainable way. Our job is to sort of explain to people is what Scotland could be like if nature was left to its own devices. The habitat that you see around here, the landscape, the animals that inhabit it and the way it's laid out, it's all the consequence of human choices. Members of the public are moving away from the idea that it is acceptable to shoot things for a sporting purpose. Some people can say a bit like nasty things and some think the job my dad does is cruel. People from the urban cities, they really don't really know the other side of the story as regards predation and the effects it has on wildlife as well. If they ban the hunting, the stalking, it would decimate the country, it would decimate the highlands. When there's no predator control, predators will take over Wildlife's going to disappear. If you can't make a living, if you can't feed your family, what's the point in doing it? If you remove people from the landscape, you remove the heart and soul. Do we have a war going on? There's all this social change, there's tension. I know keepers have been threatened about it. Children were threatened with having acid trick to their faces. The deer has played a big part in this area for uh, people's employment. They are also a symbol of what nature means. We've got to get food from somewhere to feed the population. And it goes hand in hand with what we do here in our philosophy of nature to play. With the rewilding thing, which is very much in fashion now, we have some pretty big players who have a totally different belief system from us. When government starts saying what you can and can't shoot, who can and can't shoot it, I have great concern. There is a lot of sort of neo-Marxist ideology attached to the whole land reform. Issue. The, the vested interests that lie behind the high deer populations, they're the villains. The end landowners, that's what this argument is all about. The Last Keeper. This film is not yet rated.